Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Poker Go. Welcome back to Las Vegas, and welcome back to the 2023 Poker Masters. Event number seven, $25,000 buy-in. No Limit Hold'em is what is on tap today, live from the Poker Go studio. My name is Donnie Peters. This is a free one-hour preview stream you see up there on the screen in the upper left. Ali Najad, Brent Hanks, they are handling the A-team duties over on PokerGo.com. Stacked final table we have ahead of us. Nick Petrangelo is the chip leader. Chris Brewer, Brian Rast, Nick Shulman, Justin Saliba, and Victoria Livschitz also in contention for the $374,000 first place prize. That final table lineup is presented by our good friends over at StormX, the exclusive cryptocurrency partner of PokerGo. Nick Shulman making his seventh Poker Masters cash of his career. His first at this series. Final table payouts. Everyone left guaranteed $66,000 up top, $374,000, four six figure prizes on the line. Those payouts presented by Velato, flyvelato.com. First level of the day, 15,000 small blind, 25,000 big blind. What's the deck? Victoria Lipschitz. Oh, sorry, I didn't realize. You're fine, you're fine. Coming in here under the gun, king, queen off. She is the shortest stack remaining, 13 big blinds. Oh, it's and they the are setup. all going into the hand. middle. Hello. <laughs> here we go. This is out of the setup hand. It's, uh, no, it's, well, it's not with me. Yeah. That shove gets through for Lipschitz, and she takes the pot. If you are joining us on YouTube, hello, thank you, welcome to the show. Free one-hour preview is what we have for you today. Two, ten more each. The full final table available over on PokerGo.com. The race for the purple jacket is led by Vladis Tomasowskis, the Lithuanian... PGT newcomer is what I will say. Impressed with a victory in event number one and a victory in event number three. Also had a sixth place finish in event number two. Brian Rast here comes in with a raise from the cutoff seat. King Queen off, Nick Petrangelo next to act. King Seven of Diamonds. On the button, he's going to three bet to 170K. Seeing more and more love for the King Seven as of late. You know, it's kind of the, the, the new version of the Ace Five suited in a lot of ways for a lot of these guys. Decent situation here for Petrangelo to attack. You know, a late position open from Brian Rast. 360. 360. He's going to come right back with a four bet. Brian Rast. Not going to just take this. Fires right back at Petrangelo. The four bet is to 360,000. Brian Rast has 660K behind. Petrangelo came into the final six here today as the chip leader. And he is going to be forced to give that one up. Oh, Brian Rath yes. takes it down. Brian Rath, a recent inductee into the Poker Hall of Fame. Six World Series of Poker Gold bracelets. He won the first ever 
super high roller bowl. I believe it was seven and a half million dollars for that score. Also a very well respected high stakes cash game player. He's, he's really done it all in poker. Now we'll see if he can get this poker masters victory in event number seven, $25,000, no limit hold'em. Chris Brewer here coming in with a raise to 55,000. Nick Petrangelo has ace jack of diamonds. Electing to make the call. Heads up to a flop. Petrangelo in position. Brewer has the right. inferior hand. He has dominated. Queen 10 8. Not a direct connection for both players, but a little something mm. to work with here. Both of them have backdoor flush draws, both of them have straight draws. Petrangelo still has the best of it here. $60,000 60, is the bet from Brewer. Hans Fida asking, where is Jeff Platt? Well, <coughs> Jeff Platt's got the day off. I don't know exactly where he is. Somewhere in Las Vegas, I'm sure. Petrangelo does make the call here. Queen of Clubs pairs the board on the turn. Those backdoor flush possibilities no longer in play. Actually, Russell, the PokerGo.com stream has Ali Najad and Brent Hanks today. Brewer slowing down with a check. Petrangelo checks behind. Five of diamonds on the river. Petrangelo gets the check mark here if we go to a showdown. Of course, Brewer could look to take this one away with a bet. But also might factor in a bit of showdown value for his ace high on a paired board. Brewer checks, Petrangelo quickly checks behind, and that ace jack for Petrangelo is going to get it done, take this one. the denominations of the chips in play currently 5,000 for the blues 25,000 for the purples the chip denominations presented by card player the poker authority eventually we'll get ourselves into the hundred thousand chip in play the yellows the bumblebees and Trangelo here picking up another good one if you are joining us in the YouTube streets, we thank you guys as always for checking out the coverage here. Free one hour preview stream is what we're delivering for you today. If you would be so kind, please hit that like button, that thumbs up on the video. First goal, 100 likes. Then let's push onward to what I always hope is 500. You 275. Know, 275. One hour preview, can't set the bar too, too high, but. You want to make it something that it feels good to hit. As we see, Justin Saliba here is three betting out of the small blind to 275,000. What do you have back? This is 620 behind. All right, Bit of a larger sizing here on the three bet from Saliba. We'll see how Petrangelo wants to proceed. That's 
six fifty or six. Petrangelo elects to make the call here. Once again, going to a flop against an opponent in position and with a dominating hand is Petrangelo. Did it on the last one against Chris Brewer. Doing it here against Justin Saliba. Ace, queen, deuce. This could be disaster for Justin Saliba after three betting out of the small blind flopping top pair. Decent kicker with the jack, but Petrangelo over there, the chip leader, has top two on this rainbow flop. Saliba, after that pre-flop three bet, has 620,000 behind, so just over a pot-sized bet remaining. Given the SDR here, I would expect this gets into the middle. 170K is the continuation from Saliba. electing to just call <clears throat> a spot where he has an absolute stranglehold on this hand and likely recognizes that he does so. Doesn't want to give Saliba the chance to get away. Wants to be able to maximize everything here and you know ultimately take Saliba out of the tournament and get this down to five. Turn card four of spades. Saliba with just under Half pot remaining in his stack. Checks here on the turn. How do you guys think this one is going to result? Do you think Petrangelo is going to get all of Saliba's chips? You think Saliba will be able to somehow fade elimination okay. here? Petrangelo checking behind here on the turn. To the river we go. Eight of hearts. if this was a three bet pot. Yes, it was. Nick Petrangelo opened Saliba three bet out of the small blind to a rather okay. large sizing and uh, Petrangelo flatted in position. Bet on the flop from Saliba, call in position from Petrangelo, check check on the turn, bringing us here to the river. checks again. How much will Petrangelo try and get from Saliba? Is he going to go for it all? Ten seconds. Four hundred ten thousand. Four ten. That's not all of it. That's that's just about all of it, but Saliba's got 450k behind. The bet he's facing is for 410,000. Call here means Saliba's going to be left with less than two big blinds. Nice clean lot. <coughs> Saliba makes the call. He did mutter that this is ace-queen a lot, and it is ace-queen from Petrangelo. Saliba seeing the bad okay, news here. Track. It was one of the turn okay, here.
Rich Get Richer here for Nick Petrangelo. He is the chip leader. He came into this final table of six with the chip lead. But only Orpin Kasachikoglu entered the final day of play in a 2023 Poker Masters tournament and went on to win that tournament. So we'll see if uh, Petrangelo can make it consecutive wins for the start of day chip leader. A lot of poker to go. A lot of poker to be played here with six players remaining. But of course, Petrangelo now up over 2.8 million is in the driver's seat. Has the best chance at coming out on top for that $374,000 first place prize. Approaching 100 likes on the YouTube video. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Give us a little like on the video, <coughs> por favor. Help us out here. Hit that thumbs up. Let's go. If you want to throw us a subscribe on the channel, we'd also greatly appreciate that. My name is Donnie Peters, and I'm thrilled to be bringing you some Friday afternoon poker here from the Las Vegas Strip, the Poker Go Studio. This is the 2023 Poker Masters. This is event number seven, $25,000 buy-in. There were 44 entries in this one. There's $374,000 up top. The final six players here guaranteed $66,000. Still three more tournaments to go in the 2023 Poker Masters. Two more $25,000 buy-in events. Then, of course, event number 10, the $50,000 finale. All of those going to be live streamed in full. The final tables are on PokerGo.com. Here in the YouTube streets, we bring you one-hour previews every single day. If you want... All access to the Poker Masters. Sign on up to PokerGo, PokerGo.com. Monthly, quarterly, and annual plans available. Can help you save $20 off the annual price by using the promo code DREAM20 when you sign up for an annual plan. Brings it down to less than 7 bucks a month when it breaks out, which is pretty good. About the price of the coffee that I just paid for over at Aria here. As our moderator Christy mentioned, if you are looking for the payouts on this one, it's 374,000 up top, 242 for second, 165 for third, 121 for fourth, 88 fifth, and then 66K for sixth place. You can find those payouts in the description of the YouTube video if you ever want to refer back to them and check out what they are. They will be in the description below. Baluku 31, Lima, Peru, sunny, 70 degrees Fahrenheit, drinking a San Luis water. Baluku, he gets it. Location, weather, and beverage, that's what we ask for. That's how you introduce yourself every YouTube stream. Our version of the old ASL. That I'm sure we all know all too well from the old chat room days on the interwebs. Small pot here between Brewer and Rast that has turned into an interesting one. It was limped pre-flop from Brewer in the small blind check from Rast in the big blind. And Brewer led the flop for 50,000, which is two big blinds. Rast made the call. Check, check on the turn, bringing us to this river. Brewer comes with a bet of 175,000. He is on a bluff. Rast gives it up, folding the two pair, the aces and the kings, and Brewer takes this one. Chris Brewer, Poker Pro out of Vista, California. Graduated from the University of Oregon, where he ran cross country and track. Two WSOP bracelets, both of those bracelets won this recent summer. Brewer's on an absolute heater this year. One of the biggest winners of the year. Oh, fuck. Came into the 2023 <laughs> Poker Masters second on the PGT season long leaderboard, trailing only. WSB main event champion Daniel Weinman. 
Brewer looking to finish as high as possible today, hopefully take down this event and put as big of a dent as he can in that lead for Daniel Weinman. I believe a win here for Brewer today would get uh, Brewer within 39 points of Weinman at the top of that PGT leaderboard. Of course, everyone that plays in these PGT events, the Poker Masters is part of the Poker Go Tour, everyone is trying to get in to or finished on the top 40 of the season long leaderboard. And what that will do is if you are in the top 40, you qualify for the season ending PGT Championship. That is going to take place in January. It is a $1 million free roll prize pool. $500,000 is reserved for first place. There will be various other payouts for the final table worked out. But that's the thing about Pi, it's such a production, right? Like the production and the round is slow. Very, that's what I mean. All the four swings, yeah. It's really slow out there. Yeah. But it's, yeah. it's I so like nice. going but I like going there. Blinds yeah. are up. Yeah. But it says it's uh, I'll take their word for it. It says fifteen seconds though, it's right. I mean they're, they're not up, right? I mean the it's off can't the clock. Be up. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, they can't be up right there. <laughs> trying to rob me. This isn't my fucking So they told me my ear. Yeah, yeah. No, they I got know. they got uh aggressive. So good. If you guys want to know more about the Poker Go Tour, about the PGT, just head on over to PGT.com. Information about the tour, the point system, you can check out the schedule of events. You can find live reporting coverage of everything that's going on. The leaderboard is there, as well as news and articles. Some of the other players not at this final table, but some of the ones that are in the top 40 currently and trying to finish in that position. Phil yes. Hamis up there. Jeremy Osmus is in there. Daniel Legrand is in the top 40 as well. I believe Alex Foxen is in that top 40. So truly some of the best of the best in poker are currently in the top 40 of the PGT leaderboard and certainly trying to keep it that way as they look to qualify that for that $1 million good. free roll PGT championship. In addition to those top 40 on the PGT leaderboard, there will be a select group of dream seat winners that can qualify, and that uh, could be you out there. At the end of this level, we're going to do like a... A couple different like ways that we're awarding dream we seats. Play. One is by being an annual subscriber to Poker Go. So if you do pick up an annual subscription... We could do five the next and then go back on the regular schedule. Or for, like the, uh, for the end of this month, then okay. you will be entered That'd into be my the... Idea. I'll just get a quick little... Poker Go annual one, subscriber like dream two, seat giveaway. Use the promo code DREAM20 to save yourself 20 bucks on an annual plan. You can also head to pgt.com slash gleam. That's pgt.com slash G-L-E-A-M. That is a free social media giveaway. Just complete some various social media tasks, things such as, you know, follow us on Twitter or X, you know, like our page on Facebook, repost a post, etc. Stuff like that. You'll earn raffle tickets. You could win a seat to compete in that PGT championship. And then also our friends at GTO Wizard are giving away two dream seats. Yes, two dream seats. GTOW.PokerGo.com, another free way to get in, a free giveaway. Just enter your, your name, your email, click a box, and you will be good to go to be entered into that one. All of these giveaways that I just mentioned, these final three, are ending this month. So get in there and take advantage of everything that we are offering to you guys out there so that you can hopefully give yourself the best chance to win a dream seat. You can be competing against some of these players, competing against Phil Hellmuth, against Daniel Negreanu, etc at the Poker Girl Studio in Las Vegas in January for a $500,000 first place prize. Nick Petrangelo here opening on the button. New blind level, 15,000, 30,000. Petrangelo makes it 80,000. And Nick Schulman goes all in from the small blind for 840,000 with the ace five of spades. Big shove here from Schulman. 28 big blinds putting the chip leader, Nick Petrangelo, it? in a tricky spot. Of course, we can see Petrangelo is dominating Showman here, but this is not easy holding the ace-queen off. Yeah. 
thanks to our mods, Russell Christie, Jimmy Bluffett, RMX Indiana. I see you guys there dropping all that, that promo, that giveaway information in the chat. I know I peppered you guys with a lot of stuff. Appreciate you guys and your support right, dog. and everything that you do. Looks like Bertrand yeah, is going to give this on. one up, and he does. <laughs> Ace King. Shulman gets it through. Ace King, dog? Something like that. Probably aces. <laughs> I put him on aces. <laughs> Bad fold. Everyone knows Nick Shulman, right? Poker pro yeah. and commentator. Commentates a lot right yeah, here on Poker Go. He loves pool. He loves boxing. He's got four WSFP bracelets. One is fourth <laughs> this past summer when he won the $1,500 stud tournament. Man, why do they have, why they have the to put these top things on TV? In the game for sure, <laughs> Mr. Shulman. Would you guys have called with the ace queen off? I mean, that's 20 bi 28 big blind shove. I mean, that's nothing to sneeze at out there. I mean, you give Nick Shulman 56 to 60 big blinds, I mean, it's going to be a tough spot, especially if he's on your direct left. Yeah. I mean, you can be dominated there, of course, by the ace king. A lot of players there would shove the ace king off. He's flipping against some pairs that you might not just want to take that flip for that many chips at that point in the tournament. So Petrangelo takes the conservative approach, maintains his chip lead. Yeah, I know. That's it. Rast here with a limp. Or, sorry, yeah, he is a limp because Justin Saliba is all in from the big blind. Excuse me, my apologies. And we're going to flip. Ace 10 for Brian Rass. Pocket threes for Saliba. Forced all in from the big blind. You could certainly find worse holdings than pocket threes for Saliba. We'll see if he can survive becoming the sixth place finisher today. Flop, please. King 10, 9, two spades. Brian Rass with that ace 10 takes the lead over Justin Saliba. Spade, spade, wouldn't do it for Saliba because Brian Rass has the ace of spades. Four clubs on the turn. Let's bring a no spot for a sweat. <laughs> Seven of spades like on the river. Dude. Justin Saliba is out the door in sixth place. <laughs> he takes home $66,000 in prize money. The final five players now guaranteed Eighty-eight thousand dollars. Yours, I think. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, yeah. I think. Yes, I was. I just wanna. Yeah. I think I, I think, it, I think it's I all right. It was. It. Yeah. It's a little bent, but I don't think I could tell. <clears throat> I think it's just the shuffle. Oh, the car. Yeah, it wasn't like it's not like <clears throat> mulched. It's just like slightly coved up. I don't think <clears throat> I'd be able to tell anything. Nick just peeled the jack of diamonds a little bit. <clears throat> yeah, he's jack. I've been known to mark cards in my day, and also see all the ones that people mark. <laughs> and uh, you know, a very absolvent player. I'm just sitting here playing, not realizing that everybody's trying to fucking cheat. My, my, my specialty as well. And I have way less excuse. Yeah, actually, way less you have way less excuse, Nick. <laughs> I, I, it's way sloppier with you than it is with... I, Oh, you just mean because you play mix and all that? Yeah, or, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, for yeah. me, like, I don't know. Whatever. Faith in humanity. And it's something that always gets hard. Like, that's the reason why Opie wants the deck spread and this and... But... <laughs> there was one time, though, I will say, I definitely noticed it was, like, the most obvious. For sure somebody was cheating. It was, like, a no-limit single-draw tournament, the WSOP. I forget I what the buy-in was, but it was, like, five years ago. There's some guy sitting next to me with the longest. Speaking of those giveaways I talked about earlier, here is some more information on the PGT Annual Subscriber Dream Seat Giveaway.
Join or upgrade now, PokerGo.com, or you can scan that QR code on your screen. Use the promo code DREAM20. Save yourself $20 off the first year of a new annual subscription. <laughs> like, drown out any cat <laughs> It was like just... Get in there now before the end of the month so we can get you into that Dream Seed giveaway. Petrangelo here, chip leader picking up two jacks, and that gets through without any opposition. Approaching 150 likes on the video. Let's go. Let's push towards 200. You are watching a free one hour preview here from the Poker Girl Studio of event number seven at the 2023 Poker Masters. $25,000 buy in in this one, more than a million dollars in the prize pool. First place, $374,000. Victoria Livshitz till still the short stack. Excuse me, she's still the short stack. She came into this final table as the short stack. Justin Saliba ends up busting in sixth place. He lost the large majority of his chips in a big pot to Nick Petrangelo. Went out shortly thereafter, which allowed Livshitz to ladder up, get herself twenty-two thousand dollars extra in prize money by getting to the final five here and see if she can make some moves and double up from here. Everyone else at the table has a seven figure stack. And Saliva is there working with just about eight big blinds in her stack. Lipschitz finds the ace four of hearts under the gun, and she pushes all of her chips into the middle. Come on. Come on. Nick Shulman finds two nines, and the big blind makes the call. A little good luck to Liv Schitz from Shulman. And here we go. Our second all-in confrontation of the final table here in event number seven. Victoria Liv Schitz, the player at risk with the ace, four of hearts. Ten, seven, deuce. Not much there at all for Livshitz. She's going to be looking for one of the remaining three aces. Eight of hearts on the turn. So it is an ace and an ace only. A little bit of Barry Greenstein for Victoria. Ten of diamonds on the river is not going to do it. And Victoria Livshitz is eliminated. Fifth place for her. $88,000 in prize money. As Shulman breaks that one in, yeah. and he continues to work his way up the leaderboard. Shulman now sitting in third place with four players remaining. There you see the event number seven final table current chip counts. Petrangelo still out in front by a healthy margin. Brian Rast now the short stack, but still healthy on 37 big blinds. This leaderboard presented by Stormx, the official cryptocurrency partner of Poker Go. What did you just have, ace five suited? I saw, I saw. I did, yeah. Yeah? Oh. Nick Shulman on the left, Chris Brewer in the sunglasses, Brian Rast just next to him, and now. Nick just, Petrangelo what? on the right. It's Those just are weird. the final four players delayed. remaining. That's what I had, yeah. Small blind here for Shulman. He gets the hand that Victoria Lipschitz just busted out with, ace four of hearts. Makes the call. Chris Brewer in the big blind. Five deuce off. Yes. Brewer checks his option. King, king, seven here. Two diamonds. Showman's ace high still best. Thirty thousand from Shulman, one big blind, and Chris Brewer gives it up. Mm -hmm. 
four WSOP bracelets for that man right there, Nick Schulman. Won his fourth this past summer in the $1,500 stud tournament. How can anyone forget the epic winner photo? Feet up on the table, lounging nice and laid back, cigar in his mouth. Looking as cool as can be. King Queen of Diamonds here for Shulman on the button. 65,000 is the raise. Brewer finds the King Nine of Hearts in the small blind. Three bet here from Chris Brewer makes it three hundred thousand to go. Action back on Shulman. Chris, you started with like one point five. One point three eight. Making the call. He'll play this one in position against Brewer as the pot grows to more than 600,000 out there that we're fighting for. <coughs> King Jack 3 could be shades of what we saw from earlier between Nick Petrangelo and Justin Saliba where the in-position player flopped the best of it and, and flopped a dominating stance, you know, coming in pre-flop, dominating. Both players flopping good, and we'll see how this one proceeds. Also worth noting, both players here, Brewer and Shulman, the hearts for Brewer, the diamonds for Shulman, do provide backdoor flush draws. 160,000 is the bet on the flop from Brewer. Shulman making the call. Pot now just shy of 1,980,000 out there. Shulman still very much with the best of it here. Eight of diamonds on the turn. Adds a flush draw for Shulman with those diamonds. Brewer still with an inferior top pair here. Out kick. Slows down here with a check. Both these players pretty close in chips to start this okay. hand. Both have just under pot size bets remaining in their stacks. Brewer does cover Shulman by 15k. Hundred fifty thousand is the bet here from Shulman. Going pretty small with his sizing, smaller than the continuation from Chris Brewer was on the flop. After three betting pre, Brewer fired 160k on the flop. Shulman called in position. Brewer now faced with 150,000 from Shulman, and he is going to make the call here with his top pair. 
Shulman has the best of it, also has those diamonds. Ace of spades on the river. Check. Brewer checks, and Shulman Check. quickly I checks. Did, yeah. and Shulman will take this one down. Nice pot for the high stakes poker co commentator. Does great work every week alongside AJ Benza for Poker Go. With that pot, Shulman firmly into second place on the leaderboard. He's fared very well today. You see the event number seven tournament summary there on your screen. $25,000 buy in for this one. 44 entries, seven were in the money. Notable bust outs. Ren Lin squeaked into the money. Chance Corneth bubbled. That summary presented by our good friends over at gtowizard.com. Check out gtow.pokergo.com for a free giveaway awarding two seats into the PGT Championship $1 million free roll tournament. If you've ever dreamt of playing in the PokerGo studio and playing in a million dollar free roll, gtow.pokergo.com could be your ticket to do so. <clears throat> Let's see if we can get to 200 likes before the end of this next hand. We're, we're 22 away. Okay, I mean, this hand could go quick. It could last five minutes. I don't really know. But let's see if we can get up to 200 likes. Hit that like button. Hit that thumbs up for us here on the Poker Go YouTube channel. You are watching a free one-hour preview of the event number seven final table. My name is Donnie Peters. Appreciate everyone who is Wait, tuning fine. in. Uh, like 700. Chris Brewer here. Going to find himself in another dominated spot. This time he's got the king queen. Comes in with the race to 70k. And Petrangelo has ace queen in the small blind. 220. 220. Three bet two, 220,000 here. Shulman puts the king queen off into the muck from the big blind. Wow, we flew past 200 likes. Let's see if we can get to uh, 250 by the end of this hand. How about that? We're closing in on it. Brewer is going to make the call in position here. Two hundred and fifty likes on the video by the end of this hand. Can we do it? Can we, it might it might end soon. It might end soon, you never know. Eight seven four, two clubs here on the flop. Petrangelo's hand is still best, but he's only got ace high. And has to play out of position all against all Brewer. Four. He moves uh, all in though. Squeeze milk. We need a new one. The king of diamonds. It just got squeezed on the Brewer side. Brewer quickly folds. <coughs> yeah. Petrangelo takes that one down. Not a, not a big deal. Four. Petrangelo now up over three million in chips. Still the chip leader here, four-handed in event number seven. 102 big blinds for Nick Petrangelo, as you see the event number seven final table leaderboard presented by StormX the exclusive cryptocurrency partner of PokerGo. Check them out over at stormx.io. The easiest way to earn crypto cash back. We've already lost two players at this final table. Justin Saliva, first to go in sixth place. $66,000 was his payout. Victoria Lipschitz next out the door, $88,000 for her to collect. Four remain. Chris Brewer looking, losing, excuse me, losing a few pots recently is now down to 535,000. Sub 20 big blinds for him. This Poker Master Series has really belonged to Vladis Tomasowskis. Two wins, three final tables. Ren Lin and Ryan Reese both have four caches. And then a handful of players have three caches. 
Thomas Auskas is is very much in the lead for the race for seven, the Purple Jacket. Yeah, I have way less. But there's still a lot of points to be had in these final events. They are the biggest buy-ins of the series, of course. You have this 25k buy-in right here. Running on the outer tables is event number eight, another $25,000 buy-in No Limit Hold'em tournament. You have one more 25k, and then of course, the headlining event, the $50,000 finale. Shulman here moving all in from the small blind with King Deuce of Spades, Chris Brewer. A very nice looking 8-7 of hearts, but not willing to put all your chips on the line in that situation. Kicks it into the muck and he gets shorter. Shulman gets more. And we move on to the next hand. We got about 15 minutes left here in this one hour preview. Thank you, everyone, who is tuning in. Let us know who you're rooting for. I mean, these are four of the best players in poker. Nick Schulman, Chris Brewer, Brian Rast, Nick Petrangelo. Who do you guys got? Who do you want to win this one? These guys have obviously been featured plenty in our PGT events over the years. They are some of the biggest names in the game, some of the best players you will find on the tournament circuit. Who would you like to see grab the trophy, grab that $374,000 first place prize? Christy said she's going for Shulman, but she likes them all. Liam said Shulman. <coughs> I see Brewer, I see Nick, I see Nick. It looks like Nick's the early favorite. RMX Indiana says Shulman. Big Brewer guy, Petrangelo. No one said Rast yet? The Poker Hall of Famer? I mean, come on. For sure thought Brian Rast would be getting some more love there. Nick Petrangelo raising this one from under the gun, made it 60,000 to go. Nick Schulman flatted on the button. Brian Rast called out of the big blind. Brian Rast and Nick Petrangelo here, both flopping a straight. Schulman's got an interesting one too, because he's got bottom pair, a straight draw, and a backdoor flush draw. Rast checked, Petrangelo went for 60K. Schulman's gonna make the call. Now due to the draw heavy nature of this board. Okay, Brian Rass is gonna just call. I was wondering if we might see him put in a raise there. Maybe try and take a save card here. Four parts. Okay, getting a little bit more interesting because now Shulman has those backdoor hearts coming into play. Rast checks again. The bet now from Petrangelo is 285,000. Dropped a little poll in the YouTube chat. Who is going to win this one? Petrangelo, Rast, Shulman, or Brewer? Paul. Submit your answers as we see Shulman make the call here in position. Now will we see Brian Rast come in with the raise? I'm 
all in. All in. Brian Rast moves all in here. How much is it? It's uh, 895. Rast sitting there with the nut straight. <clears throat> Petrangelo has the same hand. And then Nick Shulman behind. Nick Shulman has the worst of it currently, but still has equity in this one, especially with that second heart coming on the board to give him a backdoor flush draw. Interesting spot here for Petrangelo. Rast is the shortest stack among these three players. Let's see if Petrangelo wants to put in a raise here. If he elects to just call, that could possibly invite Shulman in. All in. All in. There is the shove from Petrangelo, and Shulman's going to toss that pretty 8 9 suited nice. into the muck, and these two players are going to chop up Nick Shulman's money. No heart. <laughs> no heart, baby. Shulman saying no heart because he does not want to see what could have been. No heart. Four diamonds on the room is not a heart. Wow. I didn't give it to you yet, right? <clears throat> I don't think so. Nick Petrangelo remains I chip did. leader, I almost 3.3 million in his stack. One if I Nick Shulman is second with 1.615 million. Diamonds. Brian Rast third. <laughs> Chris Brewer. Versus me, anyway. Sitting at the bottom with 460,000. I don't think so. Four players left here, event number seven at the 2023 Poker Masters. Got about eight minutes left in this free one hour preview. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much for tuning in here on the Poker Go YouTube channel. At the top of the hour, I will be sending you guys over to PokerGo.com where you can watch the remainder of this final table play out. Ali Najad, Brent Hanks on the call over there. If you do need to pick up a subscription, do know that we have monthly, quarterly, and annual plans available. If you go to get.PokerGo.com, you can see the plan breakdowns, the prices, everything that's on offer. I'm happy to be able to offer you a discount code, save $20 off your first year of a new annual subscription if you use the promo code DREAM20. That takes it down to what will equate to less than 7 bucks a month when it breaks out. Brian Rast here with two aces in the small blind. If you are a subscriber to Poker Go, we appreciate you very, very much. The remainder of Poker Masters in full on Poker Go. And then we lead right into the $300,000 buy-in Super High Roller Bowl, September 28th through 30th. Three straight, straight, uh, excuse me, three straight days of streaming there. We also have new seasons of High Stakes Poker and No Gamble, No Future running now on Poker Go. Brian Rast here electing to limp with the aces. Nick Petrangelo's got a seven and then a mystery card here, checking his option in the big blind. Bet from Rast gets it done. Mark saying, let's get to 300 likes. We're 20 likes away. I set the lofty goal of 500. Doesn't look like that's possible. We only got about five minutes left here, but I think we can get to 300. I mean, come on. 110. What do you think? Help me out. Don't make me beg, please. I'll do it. Yeah. 
That's right, Jimmy Bluff. It's Super High Roller Bowl is coming up in less than a week's time, September 28th through 30th, every day, <clears throat> live streamed on PokerGo.com. Defending champion, the one, the only, Daniel Negron. Everyone remembers that epic hand that Daniel played on his run to the winner's circle. The hand, of course, being when he had quads versus Bryn Kennedy's aces full. That gave him a huge pot, took out Bryn Kenny, and from there, Daniel Negroni went on to get the victory for more than $3 million. Beating Nick Petrangelo, who's the chip leader at this final table. He beat Nick Petrangelo in heads-up play. Great score there for Petrangelo, certainly one of the top players, always a formidable opponent in these big buy-in tournaments. A little blind versus blind action here. Petrangelo raised from the small blind <coughs> with the queen five off, and Shulman defended from the big with jack six. 10, 8, 8, and Petrangelo check folds to a 75,000 chip bet from Shulman. Couple hands left here on our free one hour preview. You can watch the remainder of this final table over on Poker Go. Commentary by Ali Najad and Brent Hanks. That's about as good of a commentary duo as it gets in this game. Free social media giveaway running right now from Poker Go. Play in the PGT Championship $1 million free roll for free. Visit pgt.com slash gleam to enter. You can also scan that QR code on your screen to be taken to the page. Social media giveaway, completely free to enter. Just complete some tasks. Get some raffle tickets, and hopefully nice chip, in, a, in a week or Thank so's you. time, we draw your name. That's the hope. And then you can be coming out to Las Vegas in January for the $1 million free roll PGT Championship. Nick Shulman here jamming from the small ball. He's going to get called here from Chris Brewer. Ace, queen off for Brewer. He puts himself at risk. Shulman very live with the suited 9-8, nine 9-8 eight, nine eight of spades. Brewer has no spades, so... Here we go. Four players left. Chris Brewer is all in and at risk. If he busts here, it's a $121,000 payday. If not, doubles up and right back into the thick of things. King 5-5, five five, one spade. Brewer's ace-queen high, still best here. Eight on the turn. That puts Nick Shulman out in front. Two pair, eights and fives. Bad news for Chris Brewer. One card to come. Needs an ace or a queen. GG. Four yeah, spades Chris. on the river. Oh. GG Chris Brewer. He is out in fourth place. $121,000 is what he collects. And we will see him hop into event number eight. $25,000 no limit hold him. Might take a little bit of a walk to cool off after that beat. It's never easy in poker. You have to win your flips. Final three players here. This leaderboard presented by StormX, the official cryptocurrency partner of Poker Road. Nick Petrangelo remains on top. Nick Schulman in second place. Brian Rast in third. Rast still very healthy, though. 43 big blinds for him. We're going to do two more hands here on the free like 1, 1. No. one hour preview. This hand and then the next one, or 1. 1. and then I'm out of here. Yeah, all right, I got stuff to do. I got people to see. I got a kid to pick up at school, all that good stuff. But PokerGo.com, Ali Najad, Brent Hanks, they're going to take it home all the way till we have a winner, $374,000 up top. All right, that is hand number one of two. So this next hand will be the final hand before we get out of here. Again, PokerGo.com is where you can watch the remainder of this final table. Nick Petrangelo.
currently the chip leader. These final three players guaranteed $165,000. There is $374,000 up top for the winner here in event number seven at the 2023 Poker Masters. Raised to 65,000 from the button from Nick Schulman. Six, four of hearts. Rass folds and Petrangelo folds, and that's going to do it. My name is Donnie Peters. It was a pleasure for the last 60 minutes to have you here with us from the Poker Go studio. I will now send you on over to PokerGo.com. Ali Najad and Brent Hanks on the call for the remainder of event number seven. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow. You're at 2.5. 2.2-ish, I think. Okay.